appeal, and I very much hope uh, that they're able to. Tennessee State Senator Stacey Canfield is standing firm, refusing to apologize for joke he made about assault pressure cookers that clearly mocked the push for more gun control in America. He's been criticized for making the joke so soon after the Boston bombings. Um, State Senator Stacey Canfield uh, joins me now. Uh, Mr. Canfield, what was this all about? Why did you do this? Really just pointing out the hypocrisy of the left, how they push for gun control 10 seconds after Sandy Hook shooting. And yet when, when something else happens, they refuse to say that, hey, it's a, not the inanimate, inanimate object, it's actually the person. So when people like yourself go, and, go on and say, hey, we've got to get rid of guns, we've got to push for gun control, uh, it's just ridiculous. It's like pushing for pressure cooker control after the explosion. Right. What other things can you do with a pressure cooker other than kill people? You can cook food. Right. What other things can you do with a gun other than shoot things? You can, other than shooting? Yeah. Other than shooting, well, I guess you can use it as a walking stick. <laughs> you can hunt with it. You can go target practice. You can do all sorts of things. You use a gun as a walking stick, do you? You could. I guess theoretically you could. You could use it as a hammer if you really wanted to, but uh, what's that have to do with anything? We're talking about an inanimate object that does nothing by itself. It does absolutely nothing by itself, just like a pressure cooker does absolutely nothing by itself. And now that gun control has failed, Pierce, I'm wondering, when are you going to move back to England? Because everybody in Tennessee is dying to know. Yeah, well, I'm going to hang around and just see if uh, people can't grow it's enough, uh, enough courage in this country to, to face the reality of your gun violence problem. But in terms of what you did here, you don't think it's inappropriate, insensitive to be cracking jokes about pressure cookers when so many people were killed and uh, seriously wounded, 14 people had amputations. You think that this is a joking matter, do you? The joke was really about the, the left and how they push for gun control on inanimate objects. It's like pushing for, I mean, spoon control for obesity. It doesn't do anything. You're likening spoons to guns, I think. Well, I'm liking it, liking it, liking it into uh, um, the, the possibility of controlling someone's actions just because they're thinking their actions are controlled by inanimate objects. Right, so you're, you're comparing, say, the slaughter of 20 children at Sandy Hook with a, an AR-15 assault rifle or the murderous activities of these two bombers at the Boston Marathon to a spoon. Is that what you are telling me, Senator? No, what I'm saying is people who, like yourself, who try and perpetrate that uh, a gun, inanimate object, is actually what killed the people instead of saying it was the person with the gun is very similar to someone saying um, uh, a bomb killed someone instead of a person who constructed a bomb and blew it up. Do, 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 you, do you believe that the answer to gun violence is that more people should be armed? That's statistically what's always proven to be the case, usually where you have uh, gun control places like Southside Chicago, New York City, uh, that's where your highest gun crimes are. Right. It's proven it time and again. Whenever you try and get rid of guns, violent crime goes up. Where so presumably your answer, uh, your answer to what, right, so presumably your answer to what happened in Boston, your answer to what happened in Boston is that more people should carry bombs around, is it? Well, I don't have a problem. You know, like I said, you're not going to be able to stop violence uh, by getting rid of the uh, inanimate object. You're not going to get rid of uh, criminals are still going to have guns. You no, can, that wasn't my question. It wasn't They're my still question. Have it. My point is, if you believe the answer to gun violence is more guns, bombs are already illegal. Our well, bombs. If you think the only years. way to deal with this is more guns, well, the whole point Here's is, are, are the whole point is, the guns are illegal. The whole point of the gun control campaign wasn't to grab your guns or anybody else's guns. It was to try and make. It was to try and make military to try and do like Australia did. Yes, and Australia did the exact same thing. Yes. And he did the registration Australia. first, and then they took everybody's guns away. Oh, so you're in favor of taking everyone's guns away? They did a buyback. Like Are you Australia? familiar with what a buyback is? Is that what you're in favor of, Pierce? Is taking everyone's guns away like Australia? You know what I'm in favor of, Senator? I'm in favor Are of. Are you going to not answer the question? No, I'm not in favor answer of taking it. anybody's guns away. No, I'm not. Okay, well, at least I've never, I've never said that. It's a complete you lie. Don't like the Australia plan? That's good. I'm I love the Australia plan. You know why? They've had not a no, single. Do. And not a single mass shooting since 1996 when they brought in their gun control measures. You know, oh wait, well Pierce, there hasn't been a single gun, there hasn't been a single mass shooting in anywhere but gun-free zones in the last 50 years, except for one, Gabby Giffords. So if you're looking for gun-free zone success stories, there aren't any. Hmm. And actually, they have the opposite effect. Well, why don't you come back on after there's the next mass shooting, when and you can tell Excuse me. me. Come back on after the next mass shooting in America and explain to me again how jubilant you are 
that your country and brought in not a single, zone. not a single gun control measure, not even background checks. You people don't even want to have a check on who sells they a gun work. to anybody else. Criminals it is complete and utter lunacy. Anyway, so let's leave it there. We'll speak work. again it after fails. the next mass shooting because there will be one and it'll be down to people like you. That's all for us tonight. Anderson Cooper will start in a few moments.